Right, indeed, again, Washington wins this game. You circle that play, that catch Huge. with the just monster hit, the legal hit he took from Kareem Jackson, who was ejected. And that was on fourth down. Fourth right. and four. Could that be the potential turning point? How does Russell Wilson and company respond? Boy, not well, at least on the first play, as finally that vaunted defensive front able to get to him. We'll check the flag here. It was Deron Payne who yeah. got there. This one is on Denver. Holding offense, number 69. That penalty is declined. Second down. Boy, Deron Payne had the key sack late last week. You can't keep them down for very long. No, not at all. And we barely mentioned his name in the entire first half. A big reason for that is because Wilson only dropped back to pass the balls eight times. And so if you want to take away what the Good commander's point. defense do well, you know, generate offense of 21 points off of only eight passing attempts. I like when you go deep with your nuanced analysis. I love it. Yes. Javante Williams, and he's buried. And it's Deron Payne again. again. Yep. So they lose nine on the sack, two more here as we recap their first half possessions. Yep. And again, and Aditi mentioned it when she talked to Ron Rivera after halftime, it was the fumble. It was a takeaway because Denver, again, was driving down the field. They had momentum. But that fumble, they were able to turn it around and capitalize and get back in this game. And uh, what a start so far here to start the third quarter. Defense fired up, number 94, single-handedly killing the Broncos' offense. Wilson on third and 21, and that's back him again. Boy, Deron Payne putting the team <laughs> on his back. Sack, tackle for a loss. And a pass batted down at the line of scrimmage. Oh, uh, watch this again. Look at the movement skills inside. He's going to go inside, and then watch how quick he sees, gets outside with that speed, gets the arm up. Washington defense off the field. They need more.